Welcome to this video tutorial of Cantopia, a management simulation game. As a student playing this game, you'll be leading the sales organization of one of four companies, Aromatics, Biosent, Candelarium, or Dynawick. So you'll be with one of these companies and the other three will be run by other students in your class and you'll be directly competing with each other in the same market at the same time. All four companies in your industry make and sell aromatherapy candles, which you can assume is a heavy regulated healthcare product. Here's a map of your market. We'll call it Cantopia. Some of you might think it looks like another state in the US, but it doesn't really matter what you call it. And note that your customers in this market are the candle shops throughout this geographic region that are authorized to sell this product. There are over 600 candle shops spread out throughout the 88 counties of Cantopia. Key to your success has very little to do with your knowledge of candles because all the companies sell basically the same thing. So the key is how you manage your team of account managers with regard to your decisions about hiring, firing, compensating, territory design, and other leadership matters. Before you play the game, you first create an account. You can do this once your instructor has entered roster information and set up the game. When that happens, you'll receive an email similar to this. Just follow the simple instructions by responding to the email. Or if you don't actually have the email, you can just go to the website and enter in the information um, by clicking on the sign up link. You use a credit card or a debit card to pay and then you can enter the game that was set up for your class. But one thing that's important is that you need to use the same email address that was provided to us by your instructor. So whatever email address your instructor used, you need to use that to sign up for the game. Before playing Cantopia, it might be a good idea to read through the online instruction manual. You can access that by clicking on that red button that says manual. That'll take you to the manual. Here's one of the pages. This is, uh, there's a lot of information here. This is good information. We recommend referring back to this manual as you play the game. For most people, the first step once you start playing is to start to look at the people and identify the best people to hire. There are 70 people in the applicant pool. Here are the profiles. Um, this is how the profiles look. And again, it's important to rate all applicants as A's, B's, and C's to indicate your level and interest in hiring them. A's being your favorite ones, C's being your least favorite ones, B's in the middle. Your ranking feeds into the job offer process, and so it has a direct impact on who, who you will end up hiring. Here, we're viewing the complete profile of one applicant, Yolanda Connors. Note that there is a second page of information that you can access by clicking on that additional information link. After looking through and ranking and analyzing your account manager profiles, you can move on to inputting your first set of decisions. It's important to understand that for each quarter, you make two decisions, a job offer decision, and then later you make a territory leadership decision. For your first job offer decisions, you can start that by clicking on the large green button that reads Enter Year One, Quarter One Job Offers. That'll take you to a page that looks like this. Let's look at each one of these sections more zoomed in. Here we're zoomed in to the top of the form. This is where you input decisions about compensation and benefits. As you'll see in the student manual, the expected norms for these are $20,000 annual salary and 5% commission rate. But those are just the norms. You're free to go up or down from that based on your strategy. Key to a successful strategy, just like in the real world, is to figure out and react to what you think your competitors will do, the other students. This, of course, is not always easy. Scrolling down a bit further, you see information um, that you input about the training program. You put a percent in each one of those to indicate how much you want to emphasize product knowledge, etc. Make sure the numbers add up to 100%. Next is firing. You just check off whoever you want to fire. Cantopia makes that easy. But you do have to pay a significant severance package for everyone that you fire. And finally at the bottom, 
of the form is the hiring section. You can hire zero, one, two, or three people. So you can hire up to three, but you don't have to hire anyone each quarter. And uh, then below that is your hiring list. This is generated based on your team's ranking of the people as A's, B's, and C's, okay? So you can go back and you can re-rank your people and change change the hiring list if, if you as a group decide that whoever's on the top of the list is not really who you want to be on the top of the list. After you finish the job offer decisions, you, dis you submit them by clicking on the green button at the bottom of the form. By the way, if you're ever confused as to whether or not you've entered your decisions, check to see if that big green button says enter decisions or revise decisions. That is, it changes from enter to revise after decisions have been successfully submitted. At the same time, if you've entered your decisions but you think back that maybe you made a mistake or you want to redo them or you change your mind, all you have to do is you just click on that button again. Now it says revise your job offers and you enter in no da new data. The old decisions get erased and get replaced by your revised decisions. Of course, this can only be done up until the point that your instructor compiles the results. Once all four companies have submitted their job offers, your instructor will compile or process the results. At that point, you'll be able to log back onto your account and you can see a summary of the job offer results across the top of the screen. That is, you'll be able to see who you were able to hire and may maybe you'll, you'll find out people have quit. Remember, you can always click on the account manager button there to see the complete list of the people who are working for you. After the job offers have been processed, it's now time to enter the second set of decisions, the territory leadership decisions. And so you do that by clicking on that big green button. And here's a zoomed out view of the territory leadership decisions form. Let's look at each one of these sections more closely. Here's a zoomed in view of the territory design page. So you create territories for each account manager by clicking on the name of the account manager and then selecting counties that you want to make up that person's territory. The counties must be connected to each other. You can see here that we've created a territory for Rosanna Binghamton in the northwest corner of the state and that she is calling on 71 candle shops in this territory which consists of 17 counties. So you want to make sure that that the entire state, all 88 counties get assigned to to the salespeople. After creating territories, you decide how much time you the sales manager want to spend on recruiting, on meeting with customers, on sales planning and on individual coaching sessions. Let me explain it that the sales manager works 50 hours a week. So if you end up putting 20% down beside individual sessions with reps, then that means you're spending 10 hours a week or 20% of 50 on those individual sessions. That brings us to the next page. Here you indicate how you want to split up those 10 hours across your account managers. So you put the number of hours in beside each person. And in this case, they must add up to 10. Next, you decide which leader behavior to assign or to emphasize to each person. Note that each account manager is programmed to respond favorably to exactly one of these five leader behaviors, negatively to another leader behavior, and then to have no response, neither positive nor negative, to the remaining leader behaviors. And finally, the market research reports. These are optional. You can buy them if you want or not. If you buy them, they either cost money or time, as indicated. And once you've entered these decisions, hit the Submit button. After you've submitted and the other teams have submitted the territory leader leadership decisions, the instructor will compile the results, and now the financial results of the past quarter are immediately available. You can see them up top right there. That's a, a brief overview of them, but to get into the, the details of them, you'll want to click on the bottom right button. Before you do that, you may want to click on notices. Uh, the notices are generally bad news like this one, 
and they're almost always something that you need to react to in your next set of decisions. So be sure to check out the notices and then dive into the full set of results by clicking on that button in the bottom right. Note that this will take you to a screen where you can access not only the results, but also past decisions of any of the previous quarters. So note that those red buttons on the top have drop-down menus. The one on the left lets you select the quarter, and the one on the right lets you select either the job offer decisions, the territory leadership decisions, or the financial results. Here we can see the job offer decisions for aromatics in year one, quarter one. If you select the drop-down menu on the right, on the top right for the territory leadership decisions, you'll get something that looks like this, which is, again, an overview of your territory leadership decisions. And finally, if you select the third option in the top right button, these are the financial results, which gives you a lot of information. This is a, a zoomed out version of all the inform of all the results. Let's look at each each table a little more closely. The first table is the overview table. This one is for aromatics. Note that aromatics is in first place overall. This is a table after the second quarter, but they lost the second quarter. Or they didn't come in first the second quarter, right? Candelarium has the highest net income for the quarter, but aromatics made so much money in the first quarter that they're still in first place. There's The notices will also be listed right under this table. You will also see detailed information on the account manager performance. And there's a lot of information here, information on workload. You can see whether or not your leader behavior is working based on whether it's a smiley face, a frowny face, or a neutral face. And um, you'll want to probably look into the uh, online manual to find more information about all these indices. And you also will get a detailed financial report. You could also call this the company's income statement. It shows a breakdown of company expenses. And those things I've shown you thus far, you get free every time. In addition, if you purchase market research report, you could get the competitive salesperson performance report, which shows you the salespeople from from the other companies. So if you want to steal away an account manager from another company, this might be a good report to get. If you want to see how attractive you are, getting the competitive compensation report is a good uh, thing to, to do to do see that. And finally, if you're curious about the territory strategy of your competition, you might want to get the Map of Territories Market Research Report. Let's shift gears here for a minute and do a website demo. This is Kentopia's homepage. You log in with the email and password that you've set up. You'll come to this home page where you can access the instruction manual through that large red button. A lot of great information here. You access the account manager profiles with that bottom left button, and you can rank your account managers as A's, B's, and C's. You enter the decisions through that large green button in the middle. These are the job offer decisions. Be sure you submit them when you're done. You can see an overview of the results as well as notices across the top. But to access the full results, you click on that bottom right green button and note the drop down menus lead you to all past decisions as well as all financial results for any quarter that you want. And then the second set of decisions are the territory leadership decisions. Here's where you design territories for your salespeople. You have to select all 88 counties. And there's a few other decisions associated with this step. And that's it for the website demo. When the game is over, the team, again, with the highest income to date is the winner. The team with the lowest, like Dynawick here, comes in last place. But regardless where you finish, we believe this is a fun experiential exercise that provides insight into what it takes to manage a sales team.